<coughs> so now talking about enzymes so enzymes is very commonly used term it is a bio catalyst and they are needed in the small amount to drive the reaction faster the biological reactions faster almost all the enzymes we know are globular proteins example uh, see the naming can be done on the basis of process they do for example someone do oxidation reduction so we call them oxidoreductase or it is also named on the basis of the reactant we are using for example maltose in the presence of maltase get hydrolyzed to form glucose so here maltase is the enzyme here it will make this reaction go faster so maltose becomes glucose very rapidly in the presence of maltase so what mal uh, what the enzymes do it lowers the activation energy like we have read in the surface chemistry chapter as well as chemical kinetics chaliye going ahead to vitamins vitamins previously had the spelling of v i t a m i n e because people thought they are amines they are vital amines but later on it was found that most of the vitamins are not even amines so what happened they removed the letter e hai na so that they do, the people do not catch what they were thinking at that point of time because otherwise people will think na how stupid they were most of the vitamins are not amines and you are naming it as vitamin so they remove the letter e from there thinking that okay because it is not made up of amine so just let, let's just call them vitamin nice organic compound required in the small amount in diet it is required in the diet to perform a specific biological function and for the maintenance of the optimum growth and the health of the organization uh, organization ne organism not organization organism now organic compound required in the small amount in diet to perform the specific biological function and maintenance of optimum growth and health of the organism now there are two kinds of vitamin you have to study fat soluble water soluble to so, yeah adek adek is the fat soluble set of vitamins are the fat soluble set of vitamins they are not soluble in water but soluble in fat to so imagine if you are eating this vitamin it is soluble in the fat so it will not be excreted with the uh, urine it will not be going out of the body in the form of urine so what and what happens adek remain in the body solubilized in the liver or in the adipose tissue adipose tissue stores the fat now water soluble who are water soluble who are not soluble in fat but soluble in water example vitamin c and vitamin b these are the examples there they are required in the diet why because when you are eating vitamin c for example acha what will happen in the vitamin c deficiency scurvy happens hai na scurvy disease where do you get vitamin c from from the cit citrus fruits like lemon oranges so when you are eating vitamin hai na vitamin c as soon as you urinate that vitamin c solubilized in the urine it will be excreted out of the body except vitamin b12 which is not required in the diet all the other water soluble vitamins will be required in the diet for this reason only now there is a table 14.3 in the ncert and now whenever i think about this table i always think that you peer poor fellow will be trying to you know mug up the same table again and i can understand your feeling ki sir from class 8 onwards we are trying ki rickets vitamin d scurvy vitamin c so there are so many examples there and every time we you read every time you forget i can understand that but theek hai give one more time try one time this time and this time just keep one thing in the mind while reading table 14.3 but you have to read in the table which are the vitamins uh, what where are they found the source and also what will happen in their deficiency and understand this time use one thing in the brain while reading it dekho yaar after 3 months most of you will become the doctors if uh, if something happens by my saying i wish all of you become doctor after 3 months so after 3 months if you are going to become doctor the least thing you should know is that which vitamin is present where and the basic basic symptoms you can relate to the vitamin and you can give the vitamin if the deficiency is there you can give the vitamin supplement to those patients yaar so the least thing you have to understand as a doctor is which vitamin causes which kind of problem so this time when you read the table read like a future doctor read like you actually need to know this because people or the whole world community will expect you to know this thing because you are the professionals in this field so out of everyone you should be able to remember it so read with that attitude i can guarantee you will remember till the neat examination if not then sir what then read again then again then again then again and again after four or five revisions you will be able to remember it going ahead now to dekho yaar one trick of the essential amino acid i have written on the board but i did not tell you in that segment so i can tell you now trick for essential amino acid is private tim hall pvt tim hall so there is a person tim he has a private hall so private tim hall now these are not the single letter codes theek hai these are not single letter codes what are these these are the simple names first first letter of the names like private pvt is phenylalanine valine threonine tim tryptophan isoleucine methionine one thing remember here 
that tyrosine is not essential amino acid. Sir, why are you telling tyrosine separately? Because there are two T. And in the name one, tyrosine also have T. But this T is not the essential amino acid. Going ahead here. Hall, histidine, arginine, leucine, lysine. Here also A for arginine. Keep in mind, alanine is not the essential amino acid. Arginine is. So private, Tim Hall. So how many essential amino acids you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 essential amino acids we can see clearly here. We are remaining are the non-essential amino acids not required regularly in the diet. Essential amino acids are required in the diet, not produced in the body naturally. So private Tim Hall. So here this is about the vitamins part. Let us carry on. Hi, so I'm entering into the last part of this chapter that is DNA RNA. So uh, how do genetic information get transferred from one generation to the other? How is that possible that you look like your parents or maybe you brothers and sisters, they look alike in the younger photographs or sometimes they look alike, little bit some features are matching also. Why is it so? Even the com complexions also matches, right? So why all these kind of things happen is due to the genetic information transfer. So DNA, RNA are the things we have to discuss here. This is how the genetic information get transferred also. In this topic, we don't have to read about the central dogma of molecular biology, which, which comes in the biology part. That is the replication, transcription, all those things. We don't have to read about it here. Uh, uh, replication, transcription, translation, all those things will be dealt there. Apart from that, I've seen in the biomolecule lectures uh, given by the faculties in biology as well that they are considering the structures of all the A, T, G, C, U while teaching you in the classroom as well. So that part also I will skip here and I expect if you want to read, you will be reading the structures from the NCRT also. Mostly the structure based questions are not that much important in chemistry as much as they are important in the biology. So make sure that you read the structure. Structures are important, but read it from the biology part properly. Going ahead now. This is something which you might be very well interested in, very well you are acquainted with this. 100% I can tell this topic, any BIPC student knows more than any, whether you have read this chapter or not. Any BIPC student knows this topic more than that is there in the NCRT. Now, this is the structure of beta D ribose. In beta D ribose, this is the first carbon, second carbon, this one, third, fourth and fifth. There are five carbon, like pentose sugar also we can call it because there are five carbons here. Pentose. So, you understand here, beta D ribose is there. From here, we get RNA. Using this, we get RNA, ribonucleic acid. This is deoxyribose. The other name is beta D2 deoxyribose. Why 2? Because on the second carbon, if you check very nicely here, on the second carbon, the O went away. So deoxy, oxygen went away from the second carbon. So we call it beta D2 deoxyribose. From here, you can get the DNA. From here, you can get the RNA. So the sugar. The pentose sugar used for RNA uh, formation is beta D ribose and for the DNA formation that is deoxyribonucleic acid, we can say DNA from there, uh, from where it is made from deoxyribose. Now DNA consists of four bases. These are the bases. Yeah, nitrogenous bases also you call them adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine. If I ask you a simple question of Chagas rule, here A will make how many bonds with T? A will make a double bond or a triple bond? So I think by this time you can answer. If you are seeing this with your parents or with your friends, you can say loudly also. Because they should also know, no, you are very smart, you know the answer. So, but A and T will have a double bond or triple bond. Loudly you can answer there also so that everyone can hear or parents can ask them to answer this here also. A and T has a double bond and C and G has a triple bond between them. Yes or no? No. Why? Dekho yaar. First thing, I'm really very sorry if you spoke loudly because you, you might become a little bit fool in front of others. But hai, if you spoke slowly, that means you were very smart to understand this kind of thing should not be spoken loudly. Sir, but we have read this thing. You have read, but you did not read double bond, triple bond. You read A and T have two hydrogen bonds between them. C and G have three hydrogen bonds between themselves that means double bond triple bond is not there there is no covalent bond between AT and CG they have hydrogen bonds how many hydrogen bonds between C and G three between A and T two so by yeah between them we have two hydrogen bonds and between C and G we have three hydrogen bonds so hydrogen bonds are not real bonds okay by carrying on in RNA AGC is common but instead of thymine we have uracil 
another base is there. Structures of bases you have to read from the NCRT. Going ahead, so if you take pentose sugar, any of this sugar with nitrogenous base, any of the, one of the base you can pick up. So you take sugar, you take base, the compound you are going to get is known as nucleoside. Nucleoside. Now nucleoside plus phosphoric acid. Nucleoside plus phosphoric acid is called as complete combination is called as nucleotide. So what is the difference between nucleoside and nucleotide? Nucleoside does not have a phosphate group. In organic phosphorus group is not there. In nucleotide, phosphate group is there. That is the only difference. So in the case of sugar and base, when they come together, when you see the structure of sugar, we also use number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For base also, you will use the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, bhaiya, in nucleoside, when you do the numbering, in nucleoside, when you do the numbering, base is named as one, is numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4. And for differentiating, sugar is numbered as 1 prime, 2 prime, 3 prime, 4 prime. So, just for differentiation between the number of the carbons or number of the carbons in the bases, and in the sugar, bases are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the sugar is numbered as 1 prime, 2 prime, 3 prime, 4 prime, and so on. Now, what happens here? This is the structure of nucleotide I have drawn here. So, I have taken ribose sugar here. So, I am trying to make RNA. If you take deoxyribose, you will get DNA there. Now, at one prime position, base, get, base came here. Any one of the base you can take. At five prime position here, CH2OH group was there. This CH2OH group. This OH group got associated with the phosphate here. So, at the five prime position, phosphate comes. At one prime position, the base came. Now what happens here? Now what happens? This nucleotide will associated will get associated with each other, forming a polynucleotide. So how the polynucleotides are made? They are made by a phosphodiester bond. In carbohydrate, which bonding was there? Glycosidic. In proteins, which bonding was there? Amide bond, or we can say polypeptide bond, a peptide bond. In the case of nucleotide, which bonding is there? Phosphodiester bond. Between what? Between 5 prime and 3 prime, 3 prime carbon. That means this 3 prime carbon at the bottom will make phosphodiester bond and this O at the top will make the phosphodiester bond. So here there is a long chain you will get and finally the last phosphate group will be free. That means 5 prime and will contain one phosphate group which is free and the last 3 prime, the bottom most 3 prime, 3 prime will contain one OH free. So that's why we say 5 prime to 3 prime, 3 prime to 5 prime. When you will read about the replication fork and all those things, this kind of things will come there in biology. So 5 prime to 3 prime, there is a chain there. 3 prime OH group and the 5 prime phosphate group is associated in the phosphodiester bond formation and through which we get the polynucleotide. So this is nucleotide, sugar plus base, nucleoside, base plus phosphor phosphoric acid, nucleotide and many, phos uh, many nucleotides together, polynucleotide. Structure Watson and Crick gave the structure. Bhaiya. So what happened there? Watson and Crick, they give double stranded DNA structure. So in the double stranded structure, how the strands are associated with each other, the strands are associated with each other using the hydrogen bonding. Which kind? Now you very well know, A and T have two hydrogen bonding between them, C and G have three. Talking about RNA, you might have read three kinds of RNA. So when you will read the central dogma of molecular biology in detail, all their uses will also come. Transfer RNA, ribosomal RNA and messenger RNA. Which one is carrying the genetic code? Which one is carrying the codons? Which one will be just uh, having more uh, rough kind of a structure? All those things are there which will give the rough structures to the uh, mitochondria. All those things in detail comes in the biology part. They are not in chemistry. So if you are looking that in the NCRT of chemistry, you will not find anything. Bhaiya, this was about the uh, DNA, RNA, before that protein we have covered, before that carbohydrate we have covered and finally we are at the end of the biomolecule chapter. Again, this chapter comes in the general chemistry. Yes, you are in BioPC, you have to be very expert in this chapter but this chapter is not up to your level because you are in biology, you have read all these things in much more details. So make sure this chapter you have to read once from the NCRT thoroughly. Tricks, wherever you are having problem, I feel the major problem is in the carbohydrate part and there also the major problem comes in drawing the structure for which I have told you the trick for glucose and fructose 3L, for galactose 3,4L. So this way you will be able to get the structures as well. So that is all. That's all from my side, the whatever was possibility of the revision part that I've completed it. Now your job is to complete each and every question that you have from the NCRT, including the exercise plus the previous year question bank plus some related NCRT questions if you get from your material. That's all.
थैंक यू सो मच दिस इज सौरभ पंत साइनिंग ऑफ